now as they get prepared for tomorrow. So Rich, I don't know if you can hear me right now over all that noise, but what's going on over there right now? Yeah, well, right now at this exact moment, there is uh, some trick pilots in the air right now. So a lot of cool tricks. Curly Q going on right now. Uh, a pilot out of St. Augustine is actually going to perform later today. But right now, we're going to take a tour of some of the planes here. And for that, we have Ashley Faber. She's stationed here at NAS Jax. Ashley, thank you so much for joining us. Can you describe the plane we have behind us right now? So this is a F-18 Legacy aircraft. This is what the Blue Angels used to fly. Right now they fly the F-18 Super Hornets. Um, it has a pretty cool capability of breaking the sound barrier. This aircraft is primarily used for air-to-air -air combat and air-to-ground combat. It's a really neat aircraft. It has the capability of being launched off of the aircraft carriers. And this was the um, aircraft that they um, actually had before they did the um, Tomcats. They had these at the same time. And then the F-18 Super Hornet actually phased out the Tomcat. And that is currently what the Blue Angels fly is the F-18 Super Hornets. That's fascinating. Now, we continue our tour. We have this gray aircraft right here. You said this is an Air Force aircraft as well? Yes, this is the F-15 aircraft. So this is kind of sort of the... Air Force's version of the Navy's aircraft. It's probably got some similar capabilities, except this cannot be launched off of an aircraft carrier or land on an aircraft carrier. And then we'll continue down the flight line and the Romeo helicopter. I know that this one is near and dear to you. The capabilities of this helicopter as well. So this helicopter is a H-60 Romeo and its primary functions and duties is for anti-submarine. So it helps to locate submarines in the water and mark them. And it also has rescue swimmer capabilities. So they can go on search and rescue missions and assist with capsized boats, hurricane stuff that they might need missions for, you know, to help assist in any way that we can. Well, Ashley Faber, thank you very much for our quick tour of the NAS Jax Air Show. 18 years in the U.S. Navy. Thank you very much for your service. We appreciate it. And we have a lot more here at the Air Show to share with you throughout the rest of today and all weekend long. Reporting live, NAS Jax, Rich Donnelly, news on your side. So if you want to go out there and see all those sites in person, the NAS Jax Air Show is happening this Saturday and Sunday. Gates open at 9 a.m. The show will begin at 11 a.m. Now, if you want to see the Blue Angels, they're set to perform around 3, but you want to get there early because parking and admission is free. Expect a crowd. So again, plan ahead and get there early. And that's like